Hello, this is J.A. McDonald, and today I have a new series-like thing for you. Basically, uh, what you might have noticed last week is that I happened to die in the Don't Die, and so my episodes stopped there because it was not done in 1.9, so... I could not come back a spectator or any such thing. So my episodes <coughs> end there. Jump over to Mobings to finish off the season, and I'll see you again in Series 2. But it raises up the slight problem of you've gotten used to seeing these things on Sunday, and now there's nothing on Sundays. So what I've decided to do is I've started to start this new series, which I'm going to call Survive the Night. And in this series, I will attempt to survive one night in the open with no cover in Minecraft 1.9 with uh, the equipment of this chest essentially enchanted with certain enchantments. Now, the basic rules are simple. I try to survive the night with my equipment on me I will start off with full diamond armor fully enchanted with useful enchantments like I'm not gonna put like looting on this or weird things like that all of this is unbreakable so I don't need to worry about my armor breaking on me I get a axe, a hoe, a pick or a shovel, a pick and a clock unlimited meat unlimited unbreaking shields and that's more or less it and I can use anything I can find in the wild what I'm not allowed to do is like find a cave and bunker down in it for the night then after a successful mission I'll come over here and I'll unload all of my gear into this dropper and I'll click the button which will shoot one item into here and then I take that item out of there and reference one of these dispensers on the wall where I will take it and I will shoot out <coughs> one element of it. So over here in my chest plate, if I shoot my chest plate out, I'll degrade to an iron chest plate with these enchantments. But if I shoot these enchantments out, it'll be a diamond chest plate without that enchant. Very uh, quite simple. Now I have a few ground rules. First of all, I will always have a bow, I think. Or perhaps it was... I don't remember on the bow, but there's only one tier of bow. So all of these enchants have to go away for me to lose the bow. Then on the sword, the sword cannot deteriorate below a wooden sword. Because once you go below a wooden sword, um, I just don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, but the armor is allowed to completely break and I just spat a helmet out of there. Let me fix that here really quick. And there we go. On this first day here, I am uh, not going to... This is a cyclical cycle here, isn't it? Okay then, let's try this. This is also... Okay. Sorry about that. Anyhow, on the first day, I'm not going to get rid of any any element off of these. I'm just going to go fully armored. Now, the day is counted as done. A reasonable time after monsters have started burning. <clears throat> and I start it at uh, dusk, if I recall. So... I'll do a quick little cut here where I'll get all armored up and ready to go and then I'll be back with you for the survival of the night. Okay then. <clears throat> I am back. So there is uh, one fairly important thing I forgot to mention. So on my bow here I have the infinity enchant. That is an enchant that can go away. If that enchant goes away I'm limited to one stack of arrows. It's a non... well, it's... I can't give myself more arrows if I run out. I have to pick them up off of skeletons. You know what? No, no, no. I have a better idea. 
let's just uh, no arrows that I start with and I have to pick up all the arrows I use off of skeletons. That way I can't use my bow right off the bat but when I can if I have infinity I can keep using it. So uh, let's just hit this button on the floor here and we'll be at night in survival at a random location down there on the ground. And if I did everything correctly, we should go. Just let me do one last check. I do believe I am prepared. So let us go and see what we have in the Great Wild. And that right there. Okay, good just switch tonight. I had to make it switch tonight in such a way that it doesn't reset local difficulty there because I want this to get harder with each run. <clears throat> so yeah let's just uh, let's go find some mobs. So the way this is going to be scored is I'm gonna make a book in a chest that has the armor I'm wearing, its enchantments, the weapons I'm wearing, its enchantments, and all of the loot that I managed to end the night with. And that's, I'll work out an algorithm on how to score the night from there, but it should be fairly simple to actually score once I have that information. And then I'll record all of those with their number in a chest. Whoa, I did not know about that one. That is a nasty surprise. Okay, so this nice shield does not block uh, burning zombies. So this fire enchant is actually a detriment to me. So I hope that gets knocked out for round two. But there's, I think, a 1 in 42 chance that that'll happen. Something like that. Okay, that's one way to deal with them instead. Oop, there's a guy behind me. And... Um... So that's that's really nice to know. This shield here is unenchanted, but yet the zombie is being repelled by my... or getting damaged by my thorns enchant, even when my shield's in place. Oh, good. These two are fighting each other. I'll just, uh... Stand back over here. No, I'll kill this one. Ow. Okay. Whoa, there's a spider. So now clearly, this night, I don't expect to even come close to dying on. Ooh, I got myself an arrow. Because I have such amazing equipment. And if I can't survive a night with this level of equipment, then I should just not play Minecraft in any sort of hardcore or hard or did I good I did change this to hard but if I can't survive this first night something is wrong ooh invisible spider and and there you go oh yeah oh hang on a second I forgot to turn back on no, that's not it. Where is it? Uh, video settings? Right. You want to turn your attack indicator on. I wish you could have it in both your crosshair and your hotbar, but I prefer it on my hotbar. If I can have it in one spot. So that's where I'm going to put it. Eventually, I'll probably get to the point where I don't actually need it. But that's uh, not yet. Okay, and... There we go. Whoa! What was that? That's a skeleton. There, that's, that's spider. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna pick a direction, and I'm gonna walk in that direction for a while. Because I'm not getting as many monster spawns up here as I was rather hoping to get. So let's see if I can't find some monsters 
on my own here and see about getting a good score as a baseline on this first night. Oh boy, here we go. Ow. There we go. Okay. So a lot of people are thinking that 1.9 is a much harder version of Minecraft than 1.8 is. I personally would disagree. Now, there are several reasons I would uh, disagree. First of all, is this ability to block makes it an amazing, am amazingly easy to fight skeletons and certain other monsters. But the cooldown on your swing makes it a bit harder. Now, as I understand it, you have the same DPS still, but you can just hit less enemies, except for that whole side swing knockback thing. So I think you can still kill something in the same amount of time. You just need uh, need to space your strokes yourself. Ow. Anyhow, the other thing that doesn't make or makes uh, 1.9 easier than it would otherwise be is they amped up the amount of regen you get for having a full saturation, which is the hidden bar. See those little haunches next to my hearts? Those are my food level, but my saturation is a hidden bar that will go down, and once it's all the way out, then my haunches will start going out down. But when you have full saturation, you heal amazingly quickly. Something like half a heart per second, rather than half a heart every four seconds, which is what it was before. So, altogether, and this combines to make a very equal difficulty to what it used to be if you are prepared. But if you haven't got prepared yet, if you're still getting your feet under you, I could see why it would be considered a much harder version. Additionally, if you are playing UHC, I can see why this is an amazingly hard version. Because you don't have health recovery. So the natural balancing of uh, the regen when you have full saturation doesn't apply because clearly there is no regen. So that would make it a little lot harder for UHC because it's less balanced than it was before. Oh, I love being able to do that. Whoa. Where are you? Aha. And there you go, down the cliff. Let's just get, ah, uh, no, not bother. So the reason I'm keeping these blocks on me is at some point here I might build an Enderman tower. But I very much doubt I will tonight. I might. I'm not sure. Depends on whether I want to kill an Enderman or not. And bounced arrow. Oh, that's the other thing. So in uh, in 1.8, there was technically a damage cooldown, and still is, which was different than weapon cooldown, which they didn't have. Basically, when a mob flashes red, it won't take any new damage for uh, until it's no longer red. Now, if it takes a greater damage in that time than it had before, it will replace that damage with the new damage it took. But if you hit it twice with the same amount of damage, you don't actually damage it twice, you just damage it once. Which made for a pseudo cooldown, which wasn't announced very well, but was indeed in existence. Right. Ooh, witch. Where's a witch? There she is. Might get to show you that regen if she hits me with poison. Nope, guess not. Oh man, the night's almost over. It goes by so fast. I am sure it's going to get a lot harder as this competition goes by when I uh, no longer have armor and 
I'm down to a weak sword. But for now, this night is almost over. There should be a nice little command block that takes me back in when it really considers night to be over. I'm pretty sure that whole thing's built in the spawn chunks, so I should be fine. There we are. So that is the night. Let's just see what I got in the way of mob drops. So I got seven string, four bones, nine rotten flesh, six gunpowder, and nine arrows. And I was rather depressed about the actual number of spawns. Don't know what was uh, causing that. But I'll just take this book here and modify it to reflect everything I have on me. So then I'll just see you tomorrow. And this is actually the third or 2nd of March. I am pre-recording this because I know when things are scheduled to release and yeah. So just 3-2-16. Is that right? Yeah, who cares? It's right enough for now. And you don't want to see me fill in this book so I'll just leave you till next time. And thanks for watching.